All right, so I just got back from doing some tuning and do want to show you some uh, differences here between the two. Um, this is the uh, current VE map with the Dorman 90 millimeter manifold. And this is the one with the LS6. Um, you can definitely see a difference. Um, definitely calling for more fuel here in the mid range. Uh, not so much in the top end, but I do want to disclose that I did switch injectors while doing this manifold swap to the DECA 80 pound injectors. Um, I want to run E85 and this uh, car is going to be getting a turbo here pretty soon. I already have the kit, just got to find the time again to put it on. Um, so that's going to be uh, pretty good. But as you can see here, I was band-aiding before on the stock injectors, you know, going over 101 to 100 because they were maxed out at 95% duty cycle, which is not good. I don't suggest it. You are definitely going to have to put new injectors on with this new Dorman manifold. The stock ones definitely will not be able to keep up, especially if you're running a, a larger camshaft like a Torker V2 like I am. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, you can see here, definitely a lot smoother up top. Uh, took away some of the VE here, um, but definitely more mid-range. Definitely need to be added, so that is definitely a good sign for more airflow and uh, more power. I do want to show you uh, before, yesterday, before I started the install, this was 390 um, peak torque. Uh, I take this with a grain of salt. I mean, it was pretty accurate the last time I was on the dyno. Um, you know, I was making, oh, what was it, 384 and 377 torque, and it was within one to two foot pounds. So um, this is accurate as far as I'm concerned. Take it with a grain of salt. Might be a little bit different with the DECA injectors, but uh, here's how it sits now. It is asking, or it's actually making 421 foot pound of torque at 4,000, so a lower RPM. You can see here the IATs kind of, you know, went down a little bit. Um, this is obviously a colder day than it was yesterday, but nothing really that dramatic in difference. Um, I can tell you now that these uh, Michelin Pilot Sport tires, uh, they're 295s. They're useless now between first and second gear. Second gear, I mean, I used to be able to do a couple of good pulls without some wheel spin. Now it just it lights them up. Um, so the Bud Dyno is definitely saying that I am making more power. Um, I would definitely, definitely recommend this intake manifold to anybody that is in the market to switch. Um, it is kind of a hassle to put in, but if you're not afraid to, to get dirty, um, do some fabricating, definitely recommend it over the LS6. Um, I'll be coming out with hopefully a, uh, an easy installation kit for you guys so you can do it in the weekend, not have to worry about running back and forth to the auto parts store or making stuff, fabricating stuff. Um, I'll be including this uh, harness extension after I clean it up and get it tucked away. Um, and I'll also be uh, making an intake tube um, for speed density guys and for MAF. So if you're still running a MAF sensor, again, like I said before in the previous videos, it will not fit in between here. Um, not even the stock flex bellow will fit in between there. Um, so I'll be coming out with a solution for that for both people, uh, both, uh, both the speed density and the MAF guys. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely having a good time with this. Uh, I do appreciate everybody being patient and um, you know, following this manifold swap. And so far, I'm seeing some really good numbers. Um, hopefully, be held at the dyno in you know one to two weeks, so I can get some actual you know good numbers, so you guys can see on paper. I know people are like dyno, dyno, dyno. Want to see dyno numbers, numbers, numbers. Well, I'll do it for you. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do the back-to-back -back testing like I initially thought just because of the retrofitting that had to be done to fit this manifold. Again, my previous videos will show you what I had to do and what you will need to do as well if you're running it on a uh, fourth generation F body. Um, thanks for watching. I want to hear from you, so post your comments below. Love it or hate it. Um, definitely want to hear from you. So thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned for more updates.